You know how awesome it would be for Red Bull to sponsor me? I've been looking for a mirror And I think I find it in your eyes She's been looking for a reason like, Red Bull doesn't even need to sponsor me. They don't have to pay me. They just have to send me a case of Red Bull every month, like, and I'll be like, hey, drink Red Bull. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for this, because then I'll be like, just don't drink Red Bull. Hello, everybody. I am Admiral Funko. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about Target Con, what I got at Hot Topic, and did I buy a fake pop the other day? So if you've been watching my organizational videos, you guys know that you probably saw some Target Con pops in the videos. I did try to shoot a Target Con video, but Loki unfortunately literally got sick right in front of me when I did it. So I was just like, it was one of those signs, like God wills it, like I will not be able to finish this video today. And Loki, y'all, never he never gets sick. He was fine, he just had an upset tummy, but um, I literally could not get through the Target Con video to save my life. And I knew there was going to be plenty of people out there who did a Target Con video, so you guys weren't going to be you know, missing anything. But I'm gonna go over real quick what I got and my experience. Me and my friend decided to go, um, and we showed up about an hour and 15 minutes early and there were already people in line. I've never gone to anything Target related openings in the South Carolina area, so I had no idea what to expect. So, we get there, there's two people in line, and then a third person showed up and I was like, okay, let's go get in line just in case they have less than three. Because it's usually my number, like, Three or four people, okay, I should get in line because usually they'll have at least six of something so I can get a guaranteed six. I wasn't looking for any chases, but I didn't think they had any chases for TargetCon, but I thought they did, but I was educated. Um, so we get in line, the, the conversation is pretty much about, you know, pops in general and like how Target likes to do things and how they suck sometimes and how Hot Topic sucks. And the only thing, I, I was just like, whatever, the, the conversation got brought up about stickers and how my comic book guy, Greg, doesn't have any stickers on any of the pops that he sells, but he, uh, he bought the collection from somebody else, but he's trying to sell them for full retail so that he can make a profit. He's a small business, so throw him a bone, but they were pretty much talking shit on that, and I didn't like it. I said it was a sticker. It's stupid. And, um... I said I needed to do a video. I told my friend, I was just like, I need to do a video on these stickers because literally you can get a convention exclusive from San Diego Comic-Con and you can get the exact same pop from Hot Topic, it just has a different sticker, they're the same pop. Why they have a different value, I don't know. But um, we ended up everybody getting what they wanted, I do believe, at least the ones that waited an hour, we all got what we wanted. Um, I will say this, collectors are giving other collectors a bad name. I understand being picky about pop box collection. I get it. I used to be like this, but if you guys have been watching my organizational videos, I am aiming to one day have a completely out of the box collection. I do need a house for that. So, um, the box condition doesn't really bother me as much as it does, as it used to. It used to bother me a whole lot, but now that I'm going to aim to get to that point one day, I really don't care. I just don't want a completely crushed box. So if there's flaws on the back, whatever. And one of these collectors was kind of giving the, the target lady and guy a little bit of a hard time. You could tell they were frustrated. And I was just like, dude, just pick, just pick a pop. Just pick one. And it's because we had to wait for the Darth Vader's. They had the Darth Vader's in the back. Um, and we had to wait on them. But apparently there were just so many flaws on all of them. And I literally walked up and she's like, do you want to go through all these boxes? I'm like, nope, I'll just take this one. I took this one. It was... <sighs> You know, like, all you gotta do, I don't know if I, I've just been doing this longer, if I'm just being, I don't know, call me out if I'm being that kind of collector where, I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to explain right now. But I, I've i been just collecting so long that I literally, like, can do that and say, okay, I like the box. <laughs> like, I know a lot of people just, mm, like, oh, 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 there's a little flaw right there. Like, I really, I don't care. As long as this front part is not crushed and the sides a little bit are not crushed and there's like no visible like creases or anything like that and it's just we can't be picky because one collector ruin it ruins it for everybody it all it only takes one person to sit there and be a little overcritical on something i get it you want what you paid for you don't want to buy a substandard product but at the same time it's like 
let's ease off, let's pump the brakes a little bit. But I did buy Darth Vader from Target Con. I did buy the Rose and Jack 2 pack. Um, and of course, I did get the Captain Marvel pop. I'm going to go see Captain Marvel uh, tomorrow, um, by the way. So I have no idea what this movie is about, aside from Captain Marvel. And I do have a problem with this pop because I don't know if you guys can see, but her head's weird and the spring is all messed up. I don't know if that's just my pop, but, you know, um, yeah, I'm going to go see this movie tomorrow. I did get the Flocked Mufasa with the t-shirt. And I also did get the- Ah! See? I just messed up a box just then. I did get the Bombshells box with uh, the Batman in it. I have not opened this yet just because it's gonna frustrate me because I already organized my DC collection with all the Batmans in it. It's just like, I got another Batman. And then, of course, I got Toothless! Um, Toothless was the only pop that I wanted walking into that store. Toothless and I do believe Captain Marvel were like the only two pops that I was aiming to get. I was talking to my friend about it. I was like, I don't want to spend a lot of money. And then I found out about this bombshells box and the fact there's a Bruce Wayne in it. So I had to get it. And then the Rose and Jack two pack, like, okay, I got to get it. And then literally I just racked it up like, okay, whatever. I think I ended up spending about $135 um, in total. And I got six items <laughs> and it was fair priced, but I just didn't want to have to have spent that much in one day. But the box was worth it. I just got to open it up. I'm not going to do a review on it. Only because you can literally look on the back of the box and everything's in it. So it's not really a mystery. So, um, let's go. I'm, it's, forgive me if I'm talking a little fast because I am kind of going through things fast. Um, because I don't want the video to be like 30 minutes long. Because I do want to explain a little bit of this pot that I think is fake. So some other recent, like, Macari purchases that I got, I did end up getting the superhero Stitch from Pop in the Box. He's super cute with the bra on his head, acting like, I believe he's trying to be like Batman, but I did add him to my collection, which made me really happy. I did buy Amphibian Man. I just need Eliza. I do need the Chase of Amphibian Man as well. I do love Shape in the Water. If you haven't seen Shape in the Water, it's a very, very good movie, unless you don't like the, the concept of what happens between him and Eliza, which is kind of weird to some people. And then I did buy a Vasta Narada. Um, this was from the fall 2018 exclusive. I did not know this was a thing. I really did not know this was a thing. It popped up in Macari and I was just like, okay, sure, I'll buy it. Like, cause I need to complete my Doctor Who collection. I am missing like the 13th Doctor and stuff like that. But, um, I did have a semi-complete Doctor Who collection until Vasta Narada. But, I bought him, and then I did pass a qualification board the other day, and my friend did buy me a gift to congratulate me. He bought me, he bought me the Hulk Loki movie moment, and it's kind of one of those things. It's like it's a congratulatory thing in the Navy or in the Air Force. Um, people tend to congratulate you, like, oh, you know, like you you didn't do it just for nothing. Like, here's. Here's the, uh, here's, reap the benefits kind of a thing. So, um, if you guys haven't been watching my organizational videos, um, I don't think I've put this out yet, though, but my Disney collection over here is completely coming down, and I'm putting up a whole new set of shelves, and everything that is not a three and a half inch pop is coming out of the box. <gasps> what? So, more on that when I film it. I did go to Hot Topic the other day, um... I think it was the start of Hot Cash. I just didn't know Hot Cash was happening. I did pick up a few more pops uh, with like last minute Moonies that I had. Um, and oh, because they posted on Facebook that they had new pops out. So I had to go grab them before they sold out. And luckily I was third in line and they only had three of a specific pop and I was able to grab one. But I did get the Red Wing Robin, which another upset because I have to reorganize my DC collection again. And I did get... Oh, he's popped out of the box, but I'll fix him. I did get Batman his first appearance, um, which, of course, I had to reorganize my Batman collection again. And then, of course, I had to get... I had to get the, the Diamond Edition Mickey. Um, I realized the other day that my Diamond Edition collection is, like, missing two or three pieces. So, I gotta catch up. But I did get Minnie, or I mean Minnie. I did say Mickey, didn't I? Minnie Mouse to add to the collection. And I believe my next organizational video will deal with my Disney collection primarily. 
I do have one more pop here I got from Hot Topic. He was the one of the, the three. They only had three of them. But I had to get Jon Snow on the throne. And they are supposed to have <laughs> Tyrion, Cersei, the Night King, and Danny on this throne. So I have four more of these to get. Um, and I can't wait to make that display with everything outside of the box of these. Um, taking them out of the box. And I do believe, I do plan on doing a, okay, they're outside the box. Now how are you going to keep track and organize your boxes? I will do a video on that for you guys. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait to make that display. I can't wait for Game of Thrones either. Like, it's like 40 days away, guys. It's like 40 days away. So that's actually a lot. A lot of pops have been added to the collection recently. Um, but I know what you guys are probably wondering, what fake pop did you buy? Now, the only reason I think it's a fake pop is because I was on Macari, and this pop came across my feed, and it was 60 bucks. And I was just like, hmm. Interesting. Because pops, this specific, this specific pop signed was going for $120. So I was like, okay, you know, it makes sense. So I did some investigating, um, but I bought him anyway. I know, it's just like, it. he had the potential to be fake, but I bought him anyway. And I ended up getting a message from the seller three days later saying that he was refunding me my money. And I was like, okay, because apparently he found out that it wasn't legit. And I said, okay, no problem. If it's not legit, thank you for your honesty, you know, bye, pretty much. And thank you for returning my money. And he's like, well, I'm still going to send it to you. Because it's fake. And I don't want a fake pop. And I was just like, alright. Like, I've never never had a fake pop before. So, Mr. Majin Vegeta. Um, I took a bunch of pictures of it. Like, screenshots. And I started comparing images with my friend. And um, there were some things that, like, turned us off about it. Like, his hair color seemed a little bit weird. But I was like, I don't know for sure until I get him and get him out of the box. So, I contacted my friends, the pop couple, because I knew they had one of these pops because they said they would sell me one. Um, but the first thing that was off about this pop when I took it out of the box was that its box felt weird and flimsy. So I just was just like, okay, it seems like a cheap box. That could be a sign. But I was looking at all the signs like, it was the, you know, normally the number's off-center, the box is off-colored, um, the sticker is off-colored. Like, I was looking for all the signs and just not seeing it. So I took them out of the box. And usually the first thing I do if it's fake, or I'm trying to figure out if it's fake, is I squish it. And, um, he was kind of squishy, but now he's kind of hardened. Um, but this pop was ridiculously dirty, and I don't know why. Um, because there's, like dirt here and his hair was dirty and he kind of feels a little bit more squishy than I would have liked him to be but the one thing that I always do is find someone who has a picture of the bottom of his foot so that's what I got in contact with the pop couple and the bottom of his foot matches what a legit one is so I don't know if the person who sent it to me thought that it was a fake one and just sent it to me anyway or or what because this pop needs some serious TLC in regards to uh like there's a lot of paint flaws on him I need to get whatever this is off his hair I need to clean his hair up there's just a lot of like little minute flaws to him that just seems like yeah he could be fake but at the same time I'm like 50 50 on it right now because the the stamp on the, back, on the bottom of his foot, you can't even show you guys, hopefully it'll focus. The bottom of his foot matches exactly um, what it should be. So now I'm just leaving it up to the opinion of my viewers. Do you think it's fake? Um, because when I initially pulled him out of the box, I was able to completely squeeze his head. And then now I can't. Because that was one of the things I told Pop Couple. I was like, was he squishy? And they're like, no, he's hard. Now he's like actually really hard. So, um, I don't know. Did I get a fake pop for free because i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure i wonder what you guys think um i believe i think he's legit whether he's legit or not i'm still gonna keep him because i never had a fake pop before in my collection um i was just lucky that the seller was honest enough to sit there and say hey i don't think this is a real pop i'm gonna refund you your money go back in the box 
Go back in the box. So, like, at least he was honest about it. Um, <laughs> and I just, I'm not sure at this point. But his box is very, his box was very damaged when I got it. And it just, is just so, like, I don't know if it's, it just seems so flimsy. Just so, like, cheap compared to, well, let's take Stitch out of the box real quick. Let me compare Stitch's box to his. Um, because, like, this box is, like, nice and firm and, you know, yeah, it just, like, his box is what sets me off. His box is extremely damaged, very flimsy, very much, like, like, a downgrade in cardboard and, like, everything is just so bleh with the box, but the pop itself, I can't, I can't sit here and decide whether or not it's actually legit. But I'm still going to keep him no matter what because, you know, you guys know me. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. I want to know what you guys think about Majin Vegeta and whether or not you think he's a fake. Uh, the stamp matches, nothing on the box is... There's, there's no real indicators. Like, I remember I was talking to Sean Ryan on a live stream once because he was about to buy a Planet Aurelia Vegeta and he looked at the actual Planet Aurelia on Pop Price Guide and he's like, 2200 bucks. He's like, oh, I can get it for 50 bucks. I was like, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. Um, and, you know, we showed off those indicators. So, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm not seeing anything that is like really jumping out at me unless this is just a really really good fake so let me know in the comments down below but that is it for this video i do plan on um pretty much probably gonna rip apart this room after i'm done with this video um because i do have to take down shelves and all that stuff because i really do want to set up a pretty awesome out of the box display to go behind me because i just think it'll be cool but that is it for this video. I hope it doesn't go too long. I don't know how long I've been sitting here talking. Um, hopefully there will be more stuff this weekend. I do have the weekend off. I just have to go to work tonight. I know. Why? But that should be it for now. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what you think. Comment down below what you think about everything. Um, and I didn't get all this in one week. It did take me, I think, two weeks to get all this stuff. So don't worry. A lot of people are like, Jesus, this is money. I know. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am Admiral Funko. As always, thank you for stopping by and subscribing. I did hit 1,800 subscribers. When, where, and how, I don't know. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And I will see you guys again later. Also, I am not going to Toylanta because I would have been gone today. But I have to work, unfortunately. I have no money. But that's it. See you guys later. Bye! My foot's now. I was sitting on my foot too long. Whew. YouTubing is hard.